Hello everyone, my name is Nomis, and welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Survival in Project Zomboid. We're picking up here with Mr. Wayne Jackson. Uh, near the end of January, January 26th, which puts us uh, nine and a half months or so survived. Let's see. Yeah, just over nine and a half months survived, so pretty cool beans. Uh, picking up from last episode, we had um, a few injuries. Uh, threw out a aerosol bomb after... Uh, attracting a lot of zombies down into this field uh, over here with a car that we had uh, found with a battery that had a charge in it, threw some gas in there, and resulted in us... Yeah, let me just uh, head down here quickly. I don't know if... Yep, yeah, the fire is still burning. So, we might uh, maybe try and attract some zombies over... To the uh, the flames. I don't have a pistol on me, unfortunately. And uh, zombies are still actually heading up that direction. So let's just um, we'll we'll just leave them be, let them do their thing. And I'm gonna lose them through the trees here. And we're gonna head back up. Uh, I think today will be our last episode in Martridge. It's the name of the town that we're in, just south of Muldra. And just east of Rosewood. You can see that we're in some pain here because we do have uh, a burn on the shoulder, upper arm here. And then we have a scratch over here as well. But we are overall body status of okay, so uh, we are not infected from that scratch. I'm assuming the scratch was from a zombie. I'm not really sure. But let's see what else we got here. We got high exertion, drowsy, peckish. And a slight wind chill, and we have a fairly heavy load. So, I actually tried to attract zombies down here away from these townhouses, because that's where I want to continue looting today. Um, we might also take a look at some of the commercial buildings beyond the fence back there. But uh, for now, I'm going to have to... Get back to our ambulance, which I believe, if I remember correctly, is still down this road over here, so. Uh, let's head over there. There's another gas barbecue over here. Or propane barbecue. Uh, we do need some more propane back home because uh, we can only use propane to fill up uh, our propane torches. Now, where did we park the car? Or where did I park the car? I can't remember now. Is it still down this area? Oh god. How could I forget? I did... I did some running around in between episodes. And now I can't remember exactly where I parked the ambulance. Uh, this is where we had been previous, but I don't think it's down here still, no. Where did I park it? Maybe I did park it up by the townhouses. We'll have to head over there and see. Is it up here at all? I don't see it. Okay. Oh, no, there it is right up there. Whew. <laughs> I got worried for a second that maybe uh, something happened to our save file and we lost our ambulance. That would not have been good. Okay, so we are going to search uh, these two sets of townhouses. Uh, we're going to be careful though, because we're quite tired. We're quite exhausted, I should say. We'll do our best though. Once we are able to get in somewhere, we'll stop for a rest. Just need these two to separate a little bit. But I can't get a good push because I'm so tired. I might have to just risk doing a stab quickly. Alright, that worked out okay. So let's head inside one of these homes. And hopefully there's a chair we can just rest on. Maybe upstairs. Alright, let's close that. Let's rest. 
Um, we'll need to eat something too. Do I have any pasta on me still? No, I don't. Uh, we also should keep our health window open here. Keep an eye on our bandages. We'll also need to keep an eye on our water bottle. Because every time we clean our bandage, we're using water from our water bottle. So we're very tired. We have moderate exertion. We're in pain. A fairly heavy load. Uh, okay, so our exertion's gone. Let's go ahead and take some painkillers. And let's eat a bunch of vitamins. Try and wake up a bit. We could knock out the stairs in one of these buildings. Allow us to sleep inside. But we're quite early in the day, so we're going to try and make it through. the energy that we have. Uh, another walkie-talkie. Speaking of uh, electronics, how is our electrical skill coming? We're getting closer to level 7. I guess we should continue dismantling this stuff. And like before, we'll just keep the electronic scrap and the light bulbs. Drop the rest. Alright, let's remove this bandage, we'll clean this one up, disinfect that, burn again, clean this bandage, well, let's bandage that up. Last time I changed out the bandage there was an option to clean the burn. Oh there we go, first aid level 1. Uh, so I did clean the, band or the wound with uh, my bandage. To be honest, I haven't been burned all that often, so I'm not sure if that's a new uh, feature or what. Honey, pepper. Another mouse trap. I can take that back for home. The one mousetrap I did set up back home, I haven't ever caught anything from it, so I'm thinking even mouse traps uh, won't work in the winter. Keep picking up this hairspray. We have 10 boxes of sparklers back home, so that's a potential 10 more aerosol bombs that we can make. We will have to head home though after today because our, uh, our generator uh, will not last. They seem to have fixed the, uh, uh, the bug we previously had where when we were going to the mall we were able to stay at the mall pretty much indefinitely because our generator would only ever go down to like 40% uh, or like didn't matter how long we were gone whenever we came back uh, it would always be at 40% so they seem to have fixed that let's take some more vitamins increase our awareness Just have this whole bottle. There we go. Not tired anymore. West Point map. If we find a Martridge map, we'll, we'll pick it up. So that's pretty much completely full. So we'll just finish this house. And then we'll drop this off in the car. More wine for our bar upstairs. Cool.
Okay. So we still got one, two, three more units in that building. And plus everything in this one here. Oh, there we go. Martridge map. Not the time to read a map, but cool nonetheless. So I'll just dump this bag on the seat. Grab our next one. This is another big hiking bag that we found in the last episode. Periodically check our health. Let's take some more painkillers. And we should actually eat. So let's quickly hop in the car. Have some rice. I don't think that'll be enough. Oh no, it is. Alright, and let's uh, continue with these homes. I think we're on this one. Just be on our guard. More sparklers. Right on. More chips. Another radio. Another water bottle. Actually, I should pick up another water bottle just for our backpack. So let's fill this up. So I usually do like to keep a water bottle in our backpack, but we haven't for the last little while. And there's a uh, first aid kit. That's something that we do need. I'm gonna just grab uh, the bandages out of here. And maybe the disinfectant. I might as well grab those wipes too. Just so we don't always have to stop and clean each bandage as we uh, remove them. Wall vine. No, I don't want that. I just want to remove the glass. It's actually oh, because I don't have a weapon in it, right? Um, let me just switch over to our knife. More disinfectant there. A little library. Another radio. We'll get to set level 7 eventually here. Take all that. Sunflower seeds also for our bar upstairs back home. Uh, there's a pistol. Let's take this. We have picked up some ammunition as well, so we could use this to draw more zombies down to that burning area in the field. And I might pause for a moment in this house, pull out a uh, pencil or a pen so we can start marking off places we've been in Mortridge. Wrecked car out there. All right, just close that door. Let's make sure no one's here. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's pull out a pen. I think we're using our red pen, right? Doesn't really matter, I guess. So, uh, let's put our pistol in our bag just so it doesn't weigh us down too much. I can put away our hunting knife. I haven't found any duct tape yet to repair that. Put these bandages, oh no, our bag is full. All right, so let's read this. So we have been 
through these houses, right? So let's add symbol. We'll do our little X like that. So we've been to these. Can't right there for some reason. There we go. Okay. And then we've also been to these ones here, right? So I'll just put uh, two X's there. So we've done that whole house, pretty sure. And then we've also done all this stuff. And we've done half of this one. All right, this is the last one. So we'll just mark this one off. Cool. We also took a look at the grocery store, restaurant, entertainment, retail, commercial, hospitality. Where would the grocery store be? So we hit that up. Is it this, this one here? I think it's this. Yeah, I think we searched that. Uh, the gas station. Not sure which that one would be. Okay, well, that's not, not too bad. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff to search here, but it's mostly all... I guess it's just a good place to come for food. Continue dismantling radios. School bags. These places do have a closet upstairs. But uh, for the most part, they don't seem to be spawning much good stuff. So I think we can just focus on the kitchens. And uh, I guess while we're doing this, let's talk about some of the stuff that's come out in the recent Thirstoid um, update blog. They It seems like they've mentioned that all, the future builds will have the, um, the animations. Seems like they want to just pull the cord on that now. Uh, so build 40 is, uh, sounds like it's pretty much done now as far as stuff they want to add in. So unless I misunderstood what I was reading in the last update, it sounds like build 41 uh, could start seeing, we could start seeing some animation stuff, uh, which is really cool because we've been waiting forever for that. I think it was like after the first year of my channel, like back in 2015, uh, they started kind of teasing uh, animations. So it's been a long time coming. And uh, it's going to be a huge, huge change for the game. Hopefully it'll be uh, big for the channel too. Oh god. So we always see a, a big spike in subscribers and viewers for those big updates. And it's fun for us to uh, explore and uh, discover all these big new changes. All right, so we got uh, several more here. We really lucked out the very first set of townhouses. Oh, I was just gonna say, <laughs> we hadn't found a key yet. Uh, we found a key here though. That uh, first one, we uh, found the key and had all that uh, cool engineer stuff inside. All right, these guys do not know we're here. Let's get the attention of one of them. And the other. More raspberry shortbread cookies. Uh, let's take another kitchen knife because ours is probably going to break here pretty soon. A 
once we do get back home with all this loot, we're definitely going to need uh, to think about a food storage area. Because we have a lot, a lot of food now. I guess we could always just continue to use our pre-existing um, bar elements out on the deck. Maybe that's what we'll do. I could put something inside too, though. Something else. Yeah, I'll take a couple extra kitchen knives. Just so we're not caught out. Lots of peanut butter and cereal. For trapping. Although, now that we have a... Uh, supply of carrots through farming um, we don't really need the uh, uh, the cereal I guess cereal will still be for birds but the peanut butter maybe not so much although I guess we would use peanut butter for uh, catching mice in our mousetrap so maybe they still do have a purpose Not that these uh, keys are <laughs> very useful at this stage. All the doors are broken down anyway. All right, well, this is the last one, and then we can check out some of those commercial buildings. I have lots of flour back home, so I'm not really worried about picking that up. Our kind of our bottleneck would be not having enough um, butter and milk and stuff for using the flour. So, I mean, we could make bread for burgers, but we have more than enough flour for that. Okay, cool. So let's quickly finish marking this out. Uh, add note. No, uh, add symbol. All right, so this one is done. Okay. And another full bag, oh God. Scared the bejesus out of me, but you do have an ax, so I'll forgive you. Okay, so let's, uh dump this bag here let's dump some of the stuff we don't need um, let's get out another bag move on to our duffel bags now and we'll just clean up our inventory a bit don't need that Alright, uh, one of these axes can go away. Do the lesser. Of the two there. And then I have some stuff in my backpack too I stored temporarily. Yep. Okay. Dump all that. Cool. Alright, well, once he's done this, we can open the door. So that bag's already uh, half full. Uh, okay, so hold on. Before we s take off here, let's take a quick look at the map. So there's the cinema there, post office, community center, school. In the community center, there, there's like a, um, it's like a closet with like a big boiler, some sort of industrial. Um, Units, I probably wouldn't be able to pick that up. That would probably be ridiculously heavy, but uh, that kind of caught my eye over in there. So we know there's a lot of zombies down here, so let's, I guess we have to go up. Go up and take a left. So let's do that. 
Uh, we're also hungry. So let's... Can't open my beans? Oh, there we go. Uh, let's eat our beans. Alright. And we'll see if we can search this stuff over here. So this is the movie theater. Let's just get around to the front. I mean, there might be a poster or two we want. I don't imagine there being too much stuff, though. Oh, normal backpack. I'll take that. Might be worth to just switch out our current duffel bag for that normal hiking bag. Can I get one to fall down? There we go. Okay. So this looks like a diner or a bar. Alright, we got one zombie there. Soda. Take the pop. Uh, some darts, cool. Take those, dismantle that. More pop. More ammo, more ammo. Dismantle that radio. All right, cool. And let's take a minute to just switch out stuff from this bag to this normal hiking bag. Just dump everything into this. It holds uh, a little bit more room, so we might as well. Just have to keep an eye on that door. Make sure no one comes in after us. Shouldn't take too long. We didn't have that much stuff in there. Almost there. 7.30 p.m. Just over zero degrees Celsius outside. Uh, let's go to this secondary. Okay. Put this stuff away. Let's put a duffel bag away. Just trying to lighten the load here. Take a look at our health. Okay, let's change out our bandage. Uh, we'll just keep disinfecting this. I don't think we really need to, but um, it can't hurt. Okay, cool. Clean that up. Can't open her away. Put these all away. Let's put our axe away. All right, that should get us under our carry carry weight. And let's check out the movie theater. I tried picking up these things. Um, but we can't really. We can only take the poster off of it. Probably find more junk food here, though. Snacks and stuff. More jar lids, too. I mean, these, uh, the movie counters look kind of cool, too. And these glass cabinets look a little bit different from our other ones. Maybe we should take uh, a couple. How much do these weigh? Probably 20, I would think. 10. Okay, that's actually pretty light. Do they hold 50? They do. 
Uh, glass counter. Yeah, let's take that too then. Cool. Toss these in. Now these seats are too full. This one's just barely over. 20.3. Uh, we can put it with the back though. All right, cool. What else we got? What else of interest? I already have those machines. Popcorn maker and the hot dog machine. Uh, I could take some movie posters. Um, can't actually take the frame though, unfortunately. We already have a Dr. Oids. As soon as he sees the zombies, his heart just starts going. Okay. Um, let's take those. It's very dark. Uh, those are bathrooms. So I don't really need to go in there. Just goes back out here. They've all gone upstairs. Um, oh, some boxes in here. Also, some zombies. Let's see if our cat eyes will kick in here. Um, since the weather update, the I don't know. I'm not. It's just taking some use, uh, getting used to for the new shaders. But um, the cat eyes don't seem to be as effective, or not as pronounced. We'll see here. Oh, there's some duct tape. We can fix our hunting knife. Let's actually do that right now. Uh, where's our broken hunting knife? All right, let's repair that. Cool. Grip that primary. And we could probably put this away. And these hunting knives away now. Or these uh, kitchen knives, I should say. Yeah, like it's 940. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit brighter, but... Uh, cat eyes doesn't seem to be as effective. What do you guys think? Oh, it's also another staircase here. Probably going to the roof. Cool if they had like film reels. As like a collectible. For like all those movie posters that we see. Well, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, this is just going to the roof. Yep. Um, well, we could take a look around, see what um, what's out there. Not a lot of zombies up here, which is nice. So, our distractions did do a pretty good job. Um, if we take a look at the map, that should be the community center over there. Just face that way in case a zombie pops out that door. Okay, so let's consider the cinema search. Oh no, that's something different. Community center is down here. So this is like the dormitory, I think. So let's mark this off. Boom, boom. So yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll head across the street, I guess. Oh, it is, um, we're getting cold. I guess it's kind of because of that wind chill. Um, I don't know if there's anything else up here we need to really search. That hat, yeah. 
I don't think it's necessary. I think we've got all the good stuff. That's a death hallway. No, thank you. I do need a new windshield, so. Um, let's see. If one of these has a dis decent windshield left. And a hood, for that matter. Yeah, okay, so let's uninstall this. Got some performance parts on here, too. Old muffler. I'll need the wrench to get the hood off. But let's put this one on. Okay, I'm not going to park too close to the building. Uh, Multi-level. Guaranteed to be a lot of zombies in here, so... Um, probably not the best idea to search it at night. I don't know exactly what all we would find in there that would be of use. There's a kitchen there. With zombies. Let's take a look at the uh, kind of the, the foyer. Uh, do we have any more vitamins? Yeah, we do. Take a bunch. Wake up a bit. They need to have an option to like uh, just treat this the same as food. You could take a pill. Or you can um, eat like half the bottle. Oh, there's a pinball machine in here too. Uh, up on the second floor, it looks like. See that? Up there? Oh. Yeah, pinball machine up there. Who's that? Where is that coming from? Oh, there she is. Oh, wow. Sensitive ears. Um, can't pick up those concrete barrier things. At least I don't think so. Uh, okay. Um, not too interested in this place. Take a look somewhere else. So I think this was the post office. Doesn't look like, uh, they might. It's probably not a lot in there either for us. What other places are here though? Possibly a bank or something? Okay. Well. That's good enough for me. Gotta get to our car somehow here now. Let's loop around. They should all pass by, then we can slip in. Drive off. Okay, well that'll be a good time for us to um, check out another area of town. We've always got to use these alarms to our advantage. 
So I'm going to just drive off a little bit here. We'll take a little look at the map. Just hang out over here. Oh, no. They're still coming. Okay, so this is the way out of town. Okay, let's just hang out here for a sec. Take a look at our map. Okay, so there's the alarm. Ah, unfortunately, it's kind of right in the middle of downtown. There's the school. Oh. I don't know, I guess we could just search a few more homes and then call it a day for, for Martridge. I mean, we've done pretty good. We've had a couple carloads full of food. And a few interesting items. Including that road barrier, the uh, glass cabinets. They're a little bit different from the ones we already have. So let's take a peek in a couple more houses here. There's a few in here. Oh, actually, no, I said we have to go home because of our gas. Um, so let's actually, we're going to cut off here. And uh, I'm going to edit. I'm going to make the long drive home. Because uh, I'm now thinking that our generator is probably out and nothing is being frozen in our freezers. So uh, that has been March Ridge. Uh, we're going to finish the episode in a moment here. I'm just going to drive back and uh, we'll take a look and see how our food's doing. So we're almost home. It's been about a two and a half hour drive from Marchridge up to our place. Almost two and a half hours exactly. Uh, let's see if our generator is still going. You can see I put up our uh, barricades here. It looks pretty cool. I'm not very hopeful though. I don't think, I think we waited too long. Are they? No, it's definitely off, hey? Yeah, it is 0%. Okay. Well, my guess is we've got some rotten food, unfortunately. Now, a good thing is we didn't have that much that much fish left uh, to rot. So it's not a huge waste, but still. Got to be more mindful of that. Um, uncomfortable wind chill. Let's see what we got here. I moved the little mini fridge in here. Uh, so nothing rotten as far as the vegetables in there. Uh, okay, we got rotten there, but this stuff is still frozen. Maybe the generator just went out. This must have happened when I was um, constructing, doing some construction around the base because the I did let it go out a couple times, unfortunately. But this stuff is actually still all frozen. So it's either a bug, uh, and it stayed frozen while the generator was off for a while, until we got home, or the generator just turned off. Anyway, we are home, uh, so we will end this episode here for today. As I said, we are... I think we're done with Martridge. Uh, we'll continue knocking off some of the places you guys have been suggesting down in the comments. Uh, so stay tuned for more road trips. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, though. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.